what's up y'all? So today I'm gonna teach y'all how to make Todd's Margarita with the Three Amigos style. So we're gonna make it with the Don Julio Silver, the Reposado, and the Anejo. So I know you're looking at all this tequila, and I know you're wondering why I got all these bottles out, but I just want to show y'all some of the tequilas I like. So this is the Clase Azul, which is my favorite. This is the Reposado, and this is the Mezcal. Mezcal has like a smoky taste. And then this is the Casa Amigos right here. This is, I think this is the Reposado and I think this is the Nail right here. Of course, Don Julio was my number one. I'm about to come out with my own tequila called Todd's Tequila. And when I do that, you won't see none of these up here because that's all I'm going to drink. And that's all you're going to drink. All right, so I'm going to get started. All right, so we're going to put our three tequilas into our shaker. Now we're not going to go too hard, you know. Um, so basically what I'm doing, I'm going to make this for two people. So I'm gonna put a shot of each. You know, I like them a little with a little kick to it. We'll put our silver, our reposado, and our anejo in. That's one full shot of each tequila. Now lime. I like fresh lime juice, but I don't have enough of it. So I'm gonna at least put a full lime of fresh lime juice in it, and then I'm gonna use some of this sour mix. So I'm gonna go with one fresh lime. Now, me, myself, I like to drink out of an old lady gang glass, you know. You can pick what glass you like. That's not on Bertha right there. You might even order you one of those, babies. All right, next thing, we're gonna have to get triple sec. So triple sec, so then since I did three parts liquor, one shot of triple sec, drop that in your mixer. Now, I loaded my mixer up with some ice, my shaker. And then, we're gonna have to add some sour mix. Make sure you get your sour mix right. And this is all to how you like it. So I'm gonna put a cup of sour mix in there. So then once I do that, then we put the top on our shaker and we get the shaker. See now you gotta get your cup ready. You gotta get your cup ready. Fill that baby up with some ice. I like a lot of ice. I know a lot of people don't like ice, but I like when it's cold. But then you gotta get your, your cup ready, all right? So this is what I like to do. Let me just show you a little something. You know, I ain't no bartender, but you know, I can get it in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I do not like salt rims. You know, black people have high blood pressure, so that's not my thing, but you can put salt on your rim. I throw a little lime on there, you know what I mean? And I like the little shaving, so I'll like wipe that around the glass. Cause once again, I like all that sourness. So I try to get all of that, you know, extra juice that I missed out on. You know, yeah, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Hold on, wait, wait. It was another half. All them little shavings be right. So we shake this up. Then we gonna pour it in the cup. So this is three amigos. So we got the silver, anejo, and the reposado. We got our sour mix. We got a full lime in there. We just gonna pour that baby. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. But see, that's cool. That ain't it right there. Then you gotta grab your grandma, yay. So sometimes, you, sometimes I mix it in the drink. But then when you get real fly with it sometimes, you just grab you another little shot glass, fill it up with the grandma. You can put it on the side if you want, but I like to just top it. You know what I mean? Give it that little top look. Oh, oh, watch that. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that baby right there. And that's it right there. That's the Three Amigos, Todd's Margarita. I'm gonna leave the grandma here right on top. I ain't even gonna mix it in. Oh, man. Oh, wait, 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 let me get a little more. Mmm. Make you want to smack your mama. That's right, right there. Oh, wait, wait, let me get another sip. And I'll list my recipes so you can make these at home. Make them with the missus. You know, after this, you might make a couple of babies, especially when you quarantine, you know. Todd's tequila came from just a lot of nights hanging out in Atlanta, you know. Um, I used to drink Don Julio a lot. I kind of got caught on tequila. You know, before that, I used to drink Hennessy. Then I got on tequila, and it was like I just couldn't stop drinking it. One day I was like, yo, I want to come up with my own tequila. So I called a buddy of mine. Well, I know he, he deals in Mexico, and it's called Jalasco, Mexico, where they make all of the tequilas. And um, he had a connect down there, and he was like, yo, let's go down there. Let's do some tastings. Let's meet some people. And I was like, I'm into it. So I said I want to name it Todd's Tequila. He was like, dude. 
how you gonna have a tequila and it doesn't have a Mexican name? And I was like, well, does it have to? No, no, you guys let me know. Do I need to change the name? We haven't gone to Mexico yet. Um, once this quarantine comes off, uh, we're all set. Uh, appointments to go down there to start getting the tequila together. So yeah, man, I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. I love Mexican food. I grew up, uh, went to high school in LA. So, you know, LA, close to Mexico, a lot of uh, Mexican Americans. Mexican people that live there, tacos, burritos, you know, throughout high school. Yo, that's what that's what we ate. It would just be natural for me to come out with this. As you know, we were coming up with a Mexican concept called Olay. I really think it should be called Todd's Taco and Tequilas. Todd's Tacos and Tequila. You know what I mean? My tacos and my tequilas. So I might change the name up, but we're still gonna do the Mexican concept. We're just waiting for this uh, pandemic to kind of blow over. So when we get back to normal. We can all get together, have some tacos, some tequila, some Three Amigos. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Maybe push back a little bit, maybe 2021. You know, I don't know. I don't know who's gonna go. I know my boy CJ's gonna go, cause CJ loves tequila like I do. He's been pushing me like, yo T, you should do your own tequila. My boy CJ, uh, he live in LA. We went to high school together. Um, it would be cool to do a guy's trip. I don't know if Candy's gonna let me go. Cause she be tripping sometimes, but um, I don't know. Maybe it's a couple's trip. I don't know. Like, you know, when I really got inspired up, um, to think of the tequila, I saw I think Ludacris and Kevin Hart and all of them went down and they made their own tequila. And I was like, that's dope. Like, that's a fun trip. So that really kind of inspired me. And I know uh, Luda, Luda loves tequila. He's he's uh, what did he introduce me to? Uh, was it Casa Dragones or something like that? Smooth, smoothest tequila I've ever had. Yeah, so everybody's in love with tequila. George Clooney done made a billion dollars. The Rock has his own tequila. I know I'm not George Clooney or The Rock, but you know, I can make my tequila too, you know, for the everyday people, you know, so don't pass out now. Don't drink too much of this tequila because you know, you might forget a couple of things, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, make sure you subscribe. Um, I don't know, I wanna do some more tequila stuff with you guys, with you guys, come up with different recipes, have fun with it, see what you make at home. Um, you send me some recipes, and uh, yeah, I'm excited about this. Yeah.